I love. How are you? <laughs> I hope you've been enjoying my Donald Trump impressions over the last few days. I've enjoyed doing it. My God, it's like fantastic. But it comes to light that uh, the Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee has sent uh, Mr. Trump uh, a letter. I'm just wondering how Donald Trump responded to the letter. I'm sure he's sitting there saying, well, I can see I've got another fan here. This is amazing. Well done, Tommy Lee. Word up. Meanwhile, Tommy Lee's letter goes something like this. They're a fucking lunatic. At your recent press conference, more a word salad that had a stroke and fell downstairs. You were clearly so out of your depth, you need a scuba gear. Within minutes of going off air, your minions were backpedaling faster than Cirque du Soleil acrobats. In India, a week ago, I couldn't get past the bit about your being the most popular visitor in the history of fucking India. A country of a billion human souls that's only 3,000 years old, give or take. Trust me, Gandhi pulled crowds. You pulled a cricket stadium and a half walked out. Do you know how fucking insane you sound, you off-brand butt pluck? That's like the geopolitical equivalent of that stripper really likes me. Only 10,000 times crazier and less self-aware. You are fucking exhausting. Every day is a natural experiment in determining how long 300 million people can resist coring out their own assholes with an ice auger. Every time I hear a snippet of your queen's tinged fancy larynx farts, I want to scream. We are fucking tired. As bad as we all thought your presidency would be when Putin got you elected, it's been inestimably worse. You called a hostile, nuclear-armed head of state short and fat. How the fuck does that help? You accused a woman, a former friend, no less, of showing up at your resort bleeding from the face and begging to get in. You, you, you! The guy who looks like a Christmas haggis inexplicably brought to life by Frosty's magic hat. Yes! You, of all people, said that! You attempted, with evident fucking glee, to get 24 million people thrown off their health insurance. You gave billions away to corporations and the already wealthy while simultaneously telling struggling poor people that you were doing exactly the opposite. You endorsed the pedophile, praised brutal dictators, and defended literal fucking Nazis. 99% of everything you say is either false, crazy, incoherent, just plain cruel, or a rancid paella of all four. Oh, by the way, Puerto Rico is still full bar. You got yourself and your family billions in tax breaks for Christmas. What do they get? More paper towels? Enough, 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 enough! For the love of God and all that is holy, good and pure, would you please, finally and forever, shut your feculent KFC hole until you have something valuable or even marginally civil to say? You are a fried dick sandwich with a side of slongs. If chlamydia and gonorrhea had a son, you'd appoint him HHS secretary. You are a disgraceful, pustulant, hot stew full of casuistry, god awful ideas, unintelligible, non sequiturs, and malignant rage. You are the perfect circus orangutan diaper from Plato's World of Forums. So fuck you, Mr. President, and fuck you forever. Oh, and Pence, you house ferret, fuck you too. You'll be as useful as a chocolate teapot against the medical crisis, you Bible thumping cocksucket. Tommy Lee. No. Oh. I'm just wondering how Donald would respond to that. Like I said, <laughs> I've got another fan. <laughs> My God. Peace.